let's do something we don't really do anymore. I told you we would be getting away from live calls on the show as a general principle, and we have to great success. YouTube viewership up significantly, positive emails up significantly. But I said that on special occasions we would take calls again. And because of the shortened week with the 4th of July holiday and the whole thing, we're going to let some people have their say today. Please make me proud. Let's see if we can. I don't know, not suffer through these. We will start today. And by the way, we do these on discord. You can find our discord at davidpackmancom slash discord. Ben from New York. Welcome to the show. Please save us on the eve of this uh, 4th of July. You, All right. Uh, now you're on the air, my friend. Welcome. Oh, very good. Okay. You can hear me. My question is just, um, I wanted to hear your thoughts on the impact, if any of the yesterday's decisions, uh, on what you think might, uh, an electorate on voters. Um, I think it definitely changed things a little bit and I wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Which decisions are you referring to Ben? Well, specific, specifically the immunity decision. Sorry. When From I From the Supreme this court you're decisions. talking about. Yes, I apologize. The Supreme Court decisions, particularly regarding immunity and how there's not a concern, it doesn't seem, with Biden now uh, governing as president under these decisions. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of concern about what Julie, about Julian, what uh, Trump would do. And um, I wanted to hear if you thought this could actually impact voters or swing voters in any way based on what you've well, seen. Well, if voters support democracy and value the institutions of democracy that we have here, this decision should get them to say, holy hell, there is no way I'm voting for Trump or staying home now because we now have opened the door and Trump's lawyers are already doing it, Ben, for mm. them to argue Trump trying to steal the election was all an official act and therefore protected by immunity. It is extraordinarily dangerous. I hope that everyone who sees these decisions will say two things. Number one, Am I going to help Trump get reelected, whether it's by staying home or voting third party or whatever? I hope the answer is no. But importantly, if indeed Trump can justify that the fake slates of electors were an official act, that inciting an insurrection was an official act, that all of it was official and he can't be prosecuted for it. What is to stop Biden from ordering the imprisonment or assassination of Trump and saying it is an official act for the purposes of national security? And what they say when you confront them with that with that ban is they go, oh, you you slippery slope people. That's crazy. That's crazy. But they don't substantively address it. So I think it's terrifying and I hope people get out and vote. Agreed. Thank you. All right, Ben, thank you so much. Great to hear from you.